In this session, we want to take a look at configuring the Network Policy Server Certificate and configuring the Auto Enrollment Policy for that certificate. We want to run the certificate snapping. So we want to go to the MMC. We are going to right click on the star icon, click on run. And we want to type MMC. So we click. And then click on OK. We want to add the snap in. So we file, add, remove snap in. And we want the certificate template snap in. Select add and click on OK. We want to click on that certificate template node. And we want to search for this template that we need for the MPS server. The name of that template is RAS and IAS server template. We want to scroll down to find that template and here it is, RAS and IAS server, remote access server and internet authentication service. So we want to right click on this template and we want to duplicate that template because remember that we can't make changes to the template as it is. We have to make a copy of that template to make changes to that template. We want to select the template version that's appropriate for our deployment. We're going to say for the certificate recipient, Server 2012 R2, click on OK, and the Certificate Authority, we're going to see 2012 R2 also, click on OK to close the resulting changes box. And we want to click on the General tab. And we want to type a name for the certificate template. By default, the name that you would get would be copy of the name that exists. And we want to change that name. We're going to use the on-screen keyboard to type the name and we're going to call it MPS certificate. So we turn on the caps and we type NPS. Take off the caps and type certificate. The next thing we want to do is to click on the security tab and we want to select the RAS and IAS servers. We want to click on that and under the allow column we want to make sure that we have auto enroll ticked off. You might also want to take off the read property. And then we want to click on OK. We also want to bring in the Certificate Authority template. So we're going to click on File, Add and Remove Snap In. And we want the Certificate Authority. Click Add. 
and we are configuring the certificate for the local computer so we want to click on finish at this point and we can go ahead and click on OK we're going to double click on the CA name Let's open up the console and we want to right click on certificate templates and we want to say new certificate template to issue. We will see the enable certificate templates dialog box opened up and under the enable certificate templates we want to click the name of the certificate template that we just configured. So we're going to scroll down and look for it. And here it is, RAS and IAS server. So we want to click on that template. And then click on OK. The next thing that we want to do is we want to configure the auto enrollment policy and we have to do that through Google policy management. Let's minimize the console and go into Google policy management. So we click on tools, Google policy management. We want to expand Contoso and we want to right click on the default domain policy and select edit. And we're going to look for the auto enrollment policy. So we click on computer configuration, policies, window settings, security settings public key policies and the policy we want is the last one in the list certificate services client auto enrollment and we want to open that policy by double clicking on it and we have to make sure that we have enabled on the configuration model here also make sure that we have a tick on renew expired certificates, update pending certificates, and remove revoked certificates. Also make sure that we have the tick on update certificates that use the certificate template. Once all of that is OK, we can go ahead and click on OK. After we configure this policy or any other group policy, you want to make sure that you go to your command prompt and you run the GP update to refresh the policy. Or you can simply restart your server to refresh the policy. To recap, we looked at the procedure to configure the certificate template that Active Directory Certificate Services uses as the basis for server certificates that are enrolled to servers running Network Policy Server. When you run Network Policy Server, you're going to need to have a certificate, especially if you are configuring network access policies or if you are using EAP authentication where you might want to use a smart card you will need to have a certificate this is the end of our session on MPS server certificates and I want to thank you for listening